Uh, restaurants and bars are going to go back to 50% capacity, looking like we were in the summer. 150 people maximum. They can do, again, thank you to this Minnesota. There were some that um, scoffed at the idea of outdoor dining in December, and, and I heard several restaurants and uh, breweries say they did a pretty brisk business, no pun intended, that there were a lot of folks there because Minnesotans are pretty hardy people. And business owners, entrepreneurs are pretty innovative on how they figure out how to do these things, and they've done it in a way to keep people safe. So we're going to ask six, you know, keep the six feet, six people at a table, um, ask for masks, and then uh, the 10 p.m. stop serving of food at that point in time. Again, it's the turning of the dial. As we continue, we're still at a fairly high rate of infection, but obviously, as you saw in the chart, much lower than we were in December and uh, in uh, November uh, gives us the ability, if we get this right, to keep turning that. Obviously, the goals here, as we slow the spread of the virus, as we open up some of our business cautiously with that uh, dial, now the new game changer is every single day we're vaccinating tens of thousands of people. We're going to hit a critical mass here at some point in time where all of our frontline health care workers, all of our most vulnerable, all of our seniors are vaccinated, and then we'll get to all the rest of us that will help slow the spread of this. But the dire situation of deaths and hospitalizations are going to be reduced relatively quickly. And the way we help them is by continuing to just follow these guidance. And again, our Restaurants can do this. They can do it safely. The health data supports them on this. Let's not let it get back up again. Uh, bowling alleys, movie theaters, other indoor entertainment, 25%, 150, ma uh, or 150 maximum people. Again, we can make this happen. We can do this. These are businesses that can come back online. And this goes back to that well-being as well as the economy. Um, small social gatherings, again, keeping the household small, not mixing. We still know this is a major source of transmission, is where lots of people gather, gather in a home, um, either to watch a football game, celebrate a birthday, do something like that. Those are those we still need to keep an eye on. And I, I think the good news is the times when that would be the most prevalent over the holidays, it appears like Minnesotans did a pretty good job of stopping that spread. Um, gyms and fitness studios, there's going to be a little higher max. Classes are opening back up. And then, of course, outdoor events and entertainment, which, again, Minnesotans do well. Um, I would just say this. We'll keep our hand on the dial. States are peaking. We have mobile morgue trucks and a shortage of body bags in L.A. County. Arizona is peaking back again. Uh, this thing seems to move to different regional parts. The upper Midwest has come back down some. Um, there's every reason to be optimistic, Minnesota, but there's every reason to believe it can get out of hand pretty quickly, and we can spike again pretty quickly. And again, that is, a, that is just a domino effect of big number of cases followed by a two-week lag, big numbers of hospitalizations followed by deaths. And again, yesterday was the highest death count since it started in the United States. And even here in Minnesota, with our numbers coming down dramatically, the death numbers are still lagging. We had 67 of our neighbors die yesterday of COVID-19. So there's work to be done, but we've learned a lot in nine months. So we'll keep adjusting this, keeping Minnesotans safe, keep watching. The one thing I would say is, and it's again, knowledge is power, um, not to be fearful, but to be thoughtful about this. This new variant that you're hearing about that is now in four states, the state of Minnesota has been uh, looking and doing our surveillance testing. It, we have not found it yet. I think it is much probability it is probably here. Early indicators show that this variant, while not any more uh, deadly in terms of, of the fatality rates, it does appear to be about 50 to 70 percent more contagious, which means it takes less of it, it's much quicker, and it spreads very quickly. That is something that we're tracking. It will have an impact, but it will only have an impact if we allow it to get in. And one of the ways we don't allow it to get in, wear the mask, social distancing, wash your hands, stay home if you're sick, get a test, and we can keep these things open.